They were arrested, they were brought in, they all faced court-martial. The trials lasted a very short period of time. This was a military tribunal and they were sentenced to death. And quite a number were sentenced to death, but 16 finally were executed. Only a few days elapsed and then all of a sudden the death sentence were passed on these men. So in the case of Thomas McDonough, his wife actually didn't get to see him in the hours before his execution. This was real drama, real life drama. People being taken out in twos and threes and shot. James Connolly brought out, strapped up in a chair and shot dead. And this had huge dramatic impact. There was an American journalist who came over to interview Grace because, of course, she had married in the hours before Joseph Plunkett's execution. And so, as it would be today, that was a huge um, international news. The Malins, there were four young children, the eldest being 12, and the youngest, Maura, was born in August of 1916 after her father was executed. So many of the families would have been destitute. It wasn't a surprise to the rebels. They knew when they went out that they faced death. Many of these, had they lived, might well have been leaders in the new Irish state, but the movement for independence now had its martyrs, around whom a whole new body of writing and drama, ballads, posters, all of these began to appear and began to catch the public imagination and change the perception. <laughs> 